Today we are in Lula, Georgia to show you an up-close look at a maintenance-of-way machine repairing the ballast rock underneath the railroad ties. Come along with us for this fascinating look at how this big machine gets the job done. Railroad tampers utilize hydraulic jacks to tamp the ballast by vigorously vibrating the rock material beneath the railroad ties. You can observe the rail being lifted just in front of the fingers that are tamping into the ballast. This process slightly elevates the level of the railroad, which aids in drainage and provides a smoother ride for the train. There are three main points to make. Well-regulated ballast ensures track stability and prevents shifting, which can result in derailments. It's crucial to maintain proper track geometry and alignment for safe and efficient train operations. Also, frequent ballast adjustments can extend the lifespan of tracks and ties by avoiding uneven wear and tear. High-frequency hydraulic ballast tamping machines can exert a compaction force of approximately 10 tons. Operators need to meticulously calibrate and oversee the tamping pressure to ensure the best possible outcome. After the ballast adjuster finishes, this machine comes by to sweep up the gravel and make everything smooth again. Here we are on top of the 100-year-old historic wooden railroad bridge for a look at the action down below. I've read where some of these large machines can apply a squeezing force of up to 1,000 pounds per tool on the ballast beneath the rail. There is also a warning label on the side that says, Pinch point meaning it's a dangerous place to have fingers pinched in two. I noticed that there were two workers in the cab of this tamping machine helping keep an eye on the rail and making sure the adjustments were going well. It was a long tedious process and it took a long time for them to go a short distance. Lula, Georgia, is a city with a rich history tied to the railroad industry. Founded in 1874, it became significant as a junction for the Airline Railroad, which later became Southern Railroad, linking Atlanta and Athens. The town's strategic position at the intersection of these rail lines fueled its growth and economic progress in the late 1800s. The importance of Lula as a railroad junction was solidified when the bank's brothers contributed land for a depot leading to the construction of the railway line through the area. Lula was officially incorporated as a city in 1905. It spans both Hall and Banks counties. Today, the city proudly honors its railroad legacy with the annual Railroad Days Festival. The tamping tines come press and pack the ballast beneath the sleepers, filling in gaps and compacting the material. The crushed stone is solidified under the railroad ties. Tampers also create a down force, which refers to the vertical pressure applied by the tamping tools as they push into the ballast. Railway ballast tampers employ a mix of vibratory and squeezing forces to efficiently consolidate the ballast, thereby ensuring the track stability and durability. Here we are on top of the bridge, overlooking the tracks toward the south. The railroad runs through Buford and on down to Atlanta. This was owned by Norfolk Southern when this video was made. Since that time, Union Pacific has agreed to merge with Norfolk Southern, creating the first transcontinental railroad in the United States. We appreciate you coming along with us today and we hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. It really encourages us in our work and helps keep us going. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you next time. As always, take care and may God bless you.